There are six different types of combat vehicles employed by mechanized cavalry. Each has its particular role in the combat team and its capabilities and limitations. Motorcycles have great speed and flexibility and perform a variety of services, many of which would be impossible with any other type of vehicle. In order to accompany the regiment at all times on scouting or messenger missions, motorcycles must have enough cross-country mobility to cross fairly rough terrain. They are also used to regulate traffic when the column is on the march or is halted. When a message is to be sent while a column is in motion, a motorcycle is signaled alongside and the message, clipped to a stick for passing, is handed to the motorcyclist. He then delivers the message to another moving vehicle in a similar manner. The scout car is a four-wheel drive armored vehicle. This car is used as a reconnaissance vehicle and as a command car by regiments and brigades and as carriers for machine gun or mortar personnel. Its machine guns are mounted on a track or rail permitting 360 degree traverse and about 160 degrees between extreme depression and extreme elevation. When used as a command car, it is radio equipped. The scout car must have considerable cross-country mobility to permit its operation off the roads. It can cross ditches which are not too deep or whose banks are not too steep. Steep banks cause the front end to nose into the bank or the rear overhang to drag. The activated front axle gives it excellent ability to climb steep grades. The low silhouette proves advantageous on scouting missions because of the ease of concealment. It can ford streams where the depth is not sufficient to flood the engine. The speed of this vehicle on the road is about 60 miles per hour. The armored car is a reconnaissance vehicle completely enclosed in armor, thus affording full protection to the crew from all except heavy caliber armor-piercing ammunition. This shows the viewing slit for the driver. The vehicle is armed with one caliber 30 and one caliber 50 machine gun. It carries one anti-aircraft machine gun mounted outside the turret. The gun crew is also equipped with one caliber 45 submachine gun for close-in vehicular defense or dismounted scouting missions. 
Its turret revolves throughout a 360 degree traverse. The turret guns have about 15 degrees depression and 15 degrees elevation. All armored cars used as command vehicles by platoon and higher units are radio equipped. The radio operator is stationed in the rear of the vehicle. An armored car can attain a speed of about 60 miles per hour on hard surface roads. It must also be able to negotiate very rough roads to carry out reconnaissance missions, although speed and silence are more essential to their successful use. It can negotiate fairly rough terrain, and skillful driving will frequently take it places that appear not negotiable at first attempt. The car is a six-wheel, four-wheel drive vehicle. The front axle is not activated. The bogey axle on which are mounted the spare wheels affords support to the body in going over high centers, while the knee action of the front and rear wheels permits passage over severe obstacles.